Okay, so I've got both sides to go pop, 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 pop. And we've changed the wicks to fiberglass. For me, this is perfect. It's fast. We've got a quite a poppy sound from each side. Exactly like a V motor should sound. years since I bought this. It arrived with a bent crankshaft, replaced it with a screwdriver's crankshaft that was the right um, right size, except it still wobbles a little bit, but not as bad as it did. Plenty of, plenty of graphite powder inside this but really the key to getting it to run is to reduce the friction so you take off every slidey bit inside it the faces of these and the faces of all the cam operators inside take all those bits off and use a file not a cross cut file use a file like this Okay, so they're all going one way. I mean, this is a terribly rough file. A better one would be a good idea. And that's how you flatten all the faces of these bits that are supposed to um, supposed to slide against each other. Also, this flywheel needs to be reasonably tight so you should undo this make sure that that's on there with only about a half a millimeter tightness because otherwise these parts inside will twist and once those once those cam carriers start twisting then we get twisting of the um, the valves and they don't fit the side now the valves do not, they do not quite, they're not pushed against there, there's about half a millimeter or less and they can suck onto there. But if you arrange, if you adjust it so that they push against there all the time, you're going to have too much friction. This one is sliding to one side, can you see that? So I need to take that out make sure that that <coughs> see that so I've got to uh, press those two grabby bits here and here together I um, tried to put a heat sink at the back because it gets too hot, but I think I'm going to have to add heat sinks to the top of each cylinder. I'm not quite sure. I mean, I want really big ones, but they're going to look really ugly if I do that. So, more to do. I've managed to get this side running, but not this side. So, I think when it runs properly, it's going to run actually surprisingly nicely. We'll see how we go.
Okay, a little change in the cam value, the cam adjustment there, and away she goes. Very happy with this. Another weird difference between a cotton wick and a fiberglass wick is, well, have a look at this. I mean, that's, that's pretty floppy, right? That is not floppy, but if you do move it, it can stay moved. So, you know, you might have a burner application where you need that to pretty much stay where you put it. Fiberglass would, would be the one to use. Okay, so I've got both sides to go pop, 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 pop. And we've changed the wicks to fiberglass. For me, this is perfect. It's fast. We've got a quite a poppy sound from each side, exactly like a V motor should sound. Happy. This is running on one cylinder.